Good day, everybody. I wanted to talk about prayer in this video. Uh, I think first I'll begin by telling you that I used to be a Christian. I grew up Christian most of my life. Um, when I was probably about 17 years old, it became a really big part of my life. I started uh, going to all these youth events and Bible studies, and um, I really got into it. It really became a huge part of who I was. Um, I'm not trying to boast, but a lot of people I knew uh, used to tell me that I was the only real Christian they knew because I did take it very seriously, and I did try to act the way that I thought Christ would act. Um, when I uh, started going to college, I started to learn a lot more about the Bible. I started, uh, I took some classes, you know, and started studying history and culture and stuff like that. Um, and then I started taking, uh, uh, going to these Bible studies um, with this uh, older guy I knew who was a missionary uh, to some Native American um, uh, towns around here. And uh, we got into some really in-depth Bible studies, and we started studying a lot of history and a lot of, uh, you know, other things that were going around, going on around the time of event, certain events in the Bible. Uh, to make a long story short, in the end, I came out um, not believing in God anymore. And I think that a lot of people, uh, uh, there's a quote, I don't know who said it, but it was said, uh, if there was like, uh, I don't even know the exact quote, but it's basically if, if you, if there's one thing that could get people to become atheists, all they would have to do is read the Bible. And they would. And uh, I did. And I, I used to be one of those people that would, you know, at night I would I would pray, you know, get down on my hands and knees and, and I would I would weep and, you know, I'd really pray to God for something, you know, and it, it wasn't about selfish things. But, you know, uh, I, I would pray and I'd really, you know, I, I never spoke tongues. I knew a lot of people who did, and frankly, that's pretty weird. I mean, they're, you know, just stupid, stupid shit that they're making up. I'm sorry if you speak tongues, it's stupid shit. It just is. Um, but I, I started thinking about prayer a lot lately because my mom is always saying, oh, I'm praying for you, you know, I'll pray for you or pray for me or, like, I'm not going to pray for you. It's not going to do anything. Prayer doesn't work. And then you always have people that say, well, God always answers prayers. Sometimes the answer is no. <laughs> That's just an easy way out of saying, uh, the reason my prayers weren't answered, uh, they were because God just said no. Well, I, I guess if that helps you sleep at night, it makes it easier for you. Um, I think prayer uh, is beneficial to people uh, psychologically because it makes them feel like they can do something to help you when they're powerless to help you. When you've got you know, something bad going on in your life, you know, if you're going through a divorce or if, uh, you know, you're just having a rough time, you don't have enough money or, you know, your car, you got a car wreck and you don't have a vehicle and you don't have enough money to get another vehicle and, or, or you've got a family member that's got cancer or they're in the hospital or, you know, just anything hard that's happening, you know, people feel powerless to help you but they want to help you they want to be there they want to do something for you and uh, they feel like they can't do anything for you at all so that's why I think prayer is in a way you know in a way it's good for people because they, it makes them feel like they can do something to help like they are doing something um, what I thought was funny is that uh, my girlfriend she went to church with her stepmom uh, a couple weeks ago and it was a big Assembly of God church, a uh, huge place. It's crazy all the money they've spent on it. Um, but she said they had, uh, they, they were mentioning people that needed prayer. And there was one uh, group of people, they had a family member in the hospital. Uh, they had cancer. And they, they said a quick prayer for them. But then they moved on to the sound guy. And um, he was moving out of, out of state uh, down to Houston or something like that. And they had him come up there, and everyone came and put their hands on him, you know. Oh, I'll put my hands on you. And they prayed, and they prayed, and they prayed. 
and they touched him and everybody had their hands. They prayed for him. And I'm thinking, dude, you're just moving. You're moving. Who doesn't move? I mean, everyone moves. At some time in their life, they've got to move states. It's not that big of a deal. If you plan ahead and you work everything out, it's not that hard. So I just found it amusing that this person with cancer, they thought, oh, we'll say a quick prayer, but this guy's moving. Oh, my God, everyone lay hands on him. I mean, come on. So, so back to my point. Prayer makes people feel like they're doing something, like they can contribute, like they can take part. Uh, but one objection I have to prayer also is that, in many cases, it stops people from doing anything to help. It stops people from taking action because they feel like I'm praying to God. That's all I need to do. You know, uh, uh, works don't matter. It's, it's your faith and believing in God. Um, works do matter. Uh, not on some Christian level about getting into heaven, but works matter because taking action is what actually accomplishes stuff. That's how things get done is by taking action. You know, I could sit here all day and, and pray that things work out. Shit is not going to happen unless I do something about it. And that's the problem, I think, with a lot of people is that they just want to pray because they feel like they're contributing in some way. They feel like they're doing something good in some way. But they're not. They're not doing anything. It might help them sleep better at night if they say a prayer before they go to bed. But no, no amount of prayer is going to change anything. Things either happen or they don't. Um, you know, say, when I was a Christian, I was going to college, I prayed that I would get my grant money in time to pay for college. It hadn't come in. I was getting worried. One night, I got down on my hands and knees and I prayed for hours. You know, I was so stressed out and so worried, I prayed that this money would come in. The very next day, that money came in. That check was there. And I thought, wow, you know, prayer works. But then I got to thinking about it. Wait, if it's here this morning, then it was already sent. It was already approved and sent before I even prayed. So my prayer didn't do anything. I could have not prayed, and that check would have been there the next day. That, it would have been there that morning. Um, and that's just an example. It's not something extremely important. But, uh, you know, I just find it funny that people can say, Oh, what I prayed for happened, so therefore prayer works. Or, Oh, I prayed for it, but it didn't happen. But, you know, I guess God just said no. I guess it was just, you know, not, not meant to be. God didn't want that to happen. It's It's so easy for Christians to to find an excuse for anything, I mean, either God wanted it to happen or didn't want it to happen. Either way, God still did something. Uh, another another example, uh, when I was going to church, I would sit in on the business meetings after church uh, on Sunday nights. They would have their monthly meeting or uh, however it worked. And I would sit in there and, they, you know, they had their people who were involved and uh, involved in the business aspect, the business side of church. And they were asking questions about building a new youth center. And um, they said, all who have, you know, prayed and, and believe this is God's will, please raise your hand. And, you know, a group of people raise their hand. Oh, oh yes, 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 God's, God told me yes. And then they said, if you don't believe it's God's will, raise your hand. And there was a smaller group of people who said, oh, yes, God's not God's will. He doesn't want that. And I just found it funny that God either... Either prayer doesn't work, and, and it's all based on what people think, you know, think about whatever they're praying. You know, it's their own opinion that there shouldn't be that youth center. So, 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 so either it's that, just themselves, their own opinions, or God's one messed up motherfucker. He's like, I'm going to tell this group of people, yes, build it. I'm going to tell this group, no, to make it more ambiguous so that they have to have faith in me. I mean, come on. Uh, that's just... Uh, that right there, I just found so amusing. And this is at a time when I was still uh, really going hard uh, with the Christian thing. And I believed in it with all my heart. But when something like that happened, I had to take a step back and look. And I was just like, what? 
If these people all prayed about it and this group says yes, it's God's will, this group says no, I mean, come on. And they all believed it with, you know, all of their heart that that's what God wanted or didn't want. So, uh, you know, don't pray for me. Don't pray for me or anything in my life. If you want to help, help me. If you need to help somebody else, don't pray for them, help them. Don't think that you can just pray for them before you go to bed and, and go to sleep with, with, you know, with a good conscience, saying, thinking that you've done something to help that person. If they're truly in need and you truly want to help them, do something for them. Help them, but don't pray for them. That's like spitting in their face. You know, or, or at least just say, well, I'll be thinking about you. Because then at least you're being honest because that's all you're doing when you're praying is thinking about them. Just say that. But don't don't make them feel like you're doing something good for them when you're not. It's just, to me, it's just, it's sad that people feel that way, that if they pray, they're doing a good thing. You're not doing anything but thinking about them. And maybe sometime that's all that's enough, is to know that people are thinking about you, is to know that people have you on their mind, and they're hoping for the best. I mean, at least that's comforting in some way. But telling them you're going to pray for them, like that's actually helping them, uh, it's just like spitting in their face. It's like, oh, I wish I could help, but, you know, I'm just going to pray for you. I really hope I really hope things work out. Uh, at least if you told them you were thinking about them, uh, that's fine. They know that you're just thinking about them. You're not planning on doing anything really to help them. You're just thinking. Uh, making it seem like you're taking this higher step to actually pray for them. Like something's going to get done before that. Like something's going to get done because of that. Yeah, it's just, that's just mean. And it's just stupid. So please, don't pray for me.